Hi, in this video, we will see how to build a short straddle strategy on the options wizard that we've recently launched. And then we will build a re-entry logic by making modifications to the strategy that the wizard has built for us. So let's directly get into it, understand the strategy first, then see how do we build it on trade. So here is my uh, wizard uh, uh, strategy builder. I'll just go to the option wizard. And once on the option wizard, you will see that you can create your own templates or you can uh, select any uh, standard template that is already there. So uh, I'll just move this here and I can now select a short straddle. So once I select a short straddle, on a, a pre-populated template will appear. And this is on Bank Nifty, but I can always change the instrument to Nifty or whatever I, I like. Now um, you can see that it is uh, having one shot of uh, ATM call and ATM put. Now with, with this strategy, you can have your own custom targets and stop losses. So let's say if my target is 40% and my stop loss out here is 20% and I can have a trading stop loss of 20% uh, and the same for my uh, other leg as well. So now in this strategy, I want to basically have a modification that let's say um, if, uh, if, at, uh, if I have my sell position in my call and put and assume I take the sell at 100 rupees, all right? If my 100 rupee sell happens, there are two different possibilities. One is that I'm in a profit and second is that I'm in a loss. So let's assume on that per leg, let's say on that one leg, if let's say I am on a, I'm on a profit, which means my 60 rupee target got achieved and I made a profit. In this, in this case, I will not want anything to happen. So it will just be the 60 rupees and we will not move ahead with anything. However, if my stop loss gets hit, which means that if my exit happens at 120 or basically anything above 100, if I'm in a loss, if there is any loss, in that case, I will take that loss, I will hit my stop loss and I will be out. But after that, I will keep checking for the same instrument. So let's say if I'm looking at this ATM call, I will keep checking for the same instrument. If this price comes below, let's say 100, which, which means let's say if it comes to 99, in that case, I will take a re-entry. So my re-entry will be triggered at 99. And after this re-entry, I will again have my same target and I will have my stop loss. All right. Now with this, uh, uh, what I'm trying to achieve is that let's say many times it happens that market moves in one particular momentum and there is a V-shaped move. And in this V-shaped move, uh, at times uh, your, your stop loss may get hit. And then after that market continues its momentum ahead. So in this kind of a situation, I will be saved because after this V-shaped move, I will take a loss out here, but in this part, I will again be able to uh, capture, a, capture a small profit or come out with a no profit or no loss in this kind of a situation. So let's see how do we modify this entire thing to be built on Tradetron. So um, I have my strategy out here. Now in my strategy, I will now uh, have this thing execution. I can select on Monday and Tuesday as well. And I will have this every day at 920. Now after this, I'll just click on save and this strategy is uh, ready for my uh, use. So now we will do the modifications for our re-entry. By default, this will not take a re-entry. So I just have my wizard strategy template out here. And um, in my wizard strategy template, I'll just go to this three dots and you can see edit in strategy. So I'll just select edit in strategy. And now the trade trans condition builder will appear out here. So the entire thing that you'd built on the wizard has now come to the trade trans condition builder. Once you're on the trade trans condition builder, you can see that um, uh, that uh, your your entry is happening using my your first entry. And uh, the repair once is basically having your conditions for your targets your stop loss and your trailing stop loss. Now we will take advantage of these two repair ones and we will first have a variable that uh, that triggers when these repair ones happens. Now in your in my repair ones, I will first go to my runtime variable and I will have my variable name as S1 R1. Now using my S1 R1 variable name, I will define it as a number and I will give it number one. Okay. Why am I doing this? I will tell you in some time. All right. Um, as of now, just remember that this will be the process that we will do for a short option strategy. Now, uh, I'll then go to my repair once uh, number two and I will select S1 R2. Uh, this is because I have, this is my second repair once. And I will again come here and I will select my number as one. Now, by doing this, again, I'm, I'm replicating what exactly I did um, and I will save this. Now, by doing this, by, by doing this repair once and adding my runtime variable, I have some kind of a confirmation that my repair once has been triggered. Um, after that, I will just go to my universal exit condition and I will copy this and I will uh, go to add new set. And in my add new set, 
once my universal exit happens uh, comes out here i will just paste it so what i did is i removed my universal exit condition and i added a new set and after that i added the same universal exit condition again now i will make my set two entry conditions now my set two is for my re entry remember uh, 100 rupees i had shorted it went to 120 after going to 120 it came back to 99 that is the condition i want to build okay so first first thing i want to uh, check for is that i actually hit a loss so my first thing i will check for is my loss so i will use a keyword called traded instrument by using traded instrument i will first check for two things so i will select traded instrument entry price and i will select my underlying as nifty 50 oh sorry bank nifty now after selecting my underlying as bank nifty i'll select set one condition one and my leg as one now uh, by doing this i am first checking if my entry condition uh, what is my entry price so like i had entered at 100 um, i will now check uh, if my entry price is less than and i'll select my traded instrument keyword again and i will uh, paste it here now out here uh, in my traded instrument in the second traded instrument i will basically select um, repair once out here now understand the logic that i'm doing all right i'm checking my entry price so i know that entry price happened at 100 now I'm seeing if my repair once is more than my uh, my 100 rupee entry price. So let's say if my repair once happened at 120, this means that since repair once is at 120 and entry happened at 100, which means that there is a loss on this particular trade. So by this, I will be able to capture if there was a loss in that trade. Now I will uh, next check for my get runtime. So I'll add my get runtime keyword. And again, out here, I knew that repair once number one is basically my target stop loss or trailing stop loss for my call leg and this is what i'm building for my call so i'll just uh, have my uh, my variable as s1 r1 okay and i will uh, build a condition if s1 r1 is equal to number and i'll select one out here now remember earlier we had selected uh, s1 r1 is equal to number one which means once my repair once happens then my runtime variable will be changed to one so this out here is basically making a confirmation that my repair once had happened uh, and only if repair once has happened then this condition will be true and finally i will add one more condition um, if ltp uh, of traded instrument name and in my traded instrument name i will add uh, entry my underlying will be nifty underlying will be nifty bank set one condition one leg number one so if my call option so uh, is basically less than the entry price now what am i doing out here out here i am basically making sure that let's say if my entry happened at 100 the current ltp of the current ltp is basically less than my uh, my entry price so I'm making sure that the price is basically less than 100, which could be 99, 98, anything. All right. So um, with that, I will just uh, submit my condition and I will close this. Now out here, I have added my condition. Now the position that I want to take is basically the same position that I had uh, that I had squared off. So I will want to take a re-entry. So I'm just copying my repair once and I will paste it out here. And after pasting it, I'll just change my buy to sell and I will update it and I will close it. So now I have added my re-entry condition. Now let's add our target stop loss training stop loss. Now for that, I'll just copy the same repair once condition. And after copying the repair once condition, I'll add a repair once out here. Now note I'm adding a repair once and not a, uh, not a, a set exit. I can also add a set exit. Um, but my set exit would basically uh, uh, bring, bring other issues like uh, in case the condition is true again it would want to take a trade and it could go into a loop so i'll just select set two condition one leg uh, number one out here for all my different legs so i can always have my same target stop loss uh, uh, happening again and you can basically follow this exact same process for how many ever times you like so uh, if you are following the same logical flow for each and every time uh, this thing is happening it should uh, be able to like take multiple uh, uh, re-entries so let's say I am showing it to you for one re-entry. You can have, let's say, five, six, ten different re-entries. Um, finally, I'll just uh, exit, paste exit this. And you can see that the, uh, the uh, re-entry uh, stop loss and trailing stop loss is also ready. 
now one final thing in my set 2 i'll just add my runtime variable s1 r1 uh, that i had created in my repair once uh, set and i will change this to number 0 so by changing this to number 0 i will make sure that uh, this entry doesn't happen again this entry happens only one times so um, uh, with that i have my call uh, leg ready now i will quickly replicate the same process for my put leg and i will uh, show it to you right away so now i'll again add new set and after adding a new set I'll just copy what I did in my set 2 and I will change the numbers accordingly. So I'll just paste it out here. Now uh, the logic remains the exact same thing. Um, I will just uh, make changes in the numbering of the instrument. So out here I will select uh, set 1 leg number 2 because my put was basically traded as the second instrument in my uh, in my uh, entry uh, of my uh, of my set 1. And this out here, I will change my condition number. Condition number, very important. I'll change my condition number as 2. This is because um, condition uh, 2 is the uh, is the stop loss for my put leg. Um, finally, out here, I'll select S1 R2 because this was the variable we had generated for our put leg. Uh, in LTP, I will change this to again number 2. And I'll select OK. Traded instrument, again out here, I'll select my second leg uh, because all of this is for my put leg and I'll select number 2 and I'll click on OK. So now I will submit this. Um, after submitting this, this the, the, the most difficult part is over. Uh, we'll just uh, copy the same uh, repair once that we had made in our set 1 and then we will paste it out here. Um, after doing this, uh, I'll just edit this and I'll change this to sell again because I want to sell once my price comes uh, back to my entry price and then I will again uh, uh, add one more repair once condition like I did in my uh, second set and I will paste it out here. Again, I will change the numbering out here like I did uh, earlier. Um, I'll change this to set number 3 because uh, that is the uh, set that uh, I have my target and stop loss for. So again, for all my keywords, I just quickly do this. And once I do this, uh, I should be good to go. I'll click on OK and there you go. My strategy is ready. I'll just uh, copy this and paste exit. So now my, my strategy is ready. And one last thing right before we close off, um, I'll just add my runtime variable, which is S1 R2 out here. And I'll give it a variable value of number 0. By giving it a 0 number, I'm making sure that after my re-entry, there is no other trade that is taken. It will only take that one trade on that particular day and it will close off for the day. So I hope uh, this video on uh, on this topic helped you. As usual, I'll be sharing the link to duplicate the strategy in the description. You can uh, you use this. You can change the numbers, uh, 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 change the target stop loss, trailing stop loss as per your thought process. Or in fact, add more sets. Uh, let's say if you need re-entry twice or three times, then you can have let's say a set four and a set five, which is handling the same. So uh, with that, um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, anything that you, uh, any feedback, any suggestions, feel free to drop it in the comments uh, or drop us an email at support at the rate of .tech. Thank you very much.